Whenever working around gas applications, it is essential that proper ventilation is available for safety reasons and to ensure residual concentrations of gas and other chemicals don't affect the technician or the equipment he is using. An important step in servicing gas appliances and gas piping systems is to check for the presence of gas leaks. A leak detection solution will give a good and acceptable visual indication of the integrity of the gas piping connections to controls and appliances. However, modern electronic gas detection equipment can sense concentrations of gas far below what was once only visually detectable, well below the allowable leakage limits specified in safety standards. This can create confusion for service technicians, as well as unnecessary rework and replacement costs for customers and control manufacturers alike. The Air Conditioning, Heating and Refrigeration Institute is taking this opportunity to clarify common misunderstandings related to gas leak detection methods. We will cover the gas industry's safety standards regarding allowable leakage rates for gas controls and the use of electronic gas detection devices, commonly called leak detectors. We'll also perform leak detection demonstrations on a gas appliance. Every agency-approved gas control is manufactured to exacting standards and tested for leakage before it is shipped from the factory. Nationally recognized safety standards to which all residential gas controls are designed and built specify a maximum allowable leakage rate. This allowable leakage rate is equal to a maximum 235 cubic centimeters per hour, measured at one and one-half times the rated pressure of the gas control. Service technicians are responsible for the safe installation of gas appliances and must evaluate gas leaks appropriately. The technician must be aware of the gas detector's sensitivity and determine if other chemicals or household agents to which the detector may respond are present. Some pipe joint compounds and many household cleaners can be detected using modern gas detectors. According to national standards, 235 cubic centimeters of gas per hour represents the maximum allowable leakage rate for a control. When using a leak detection solution, leakage above this limit is indicated by the presence of bubbles. Gas detectors are so sensitive that they can detect gas in amounts far below this allowable limit. Now, let's perform a practical demonstration to show how small the maximum allowable leakage really is. First, make sure the detector is properly calibrated and zeroed according to the manufacturer's instructions. It is important to do this away from any equipment in a well-ventilated area. Then use the detector to check around areas where gas may be present. In those areas where the detector indicates the possible presence of gas, the technician must verify that an actual leak is present and that it is not simply a residual concentration of gas or other substance that may be sensed by the detector. Use a leak detection solution, flow meter, or other acceptable verification means to determine whether an actual leak is present. Because the gas detector responded, let's look at two gas pipe connections using a leak detection solution. One is sufficiently tightened and one is not. Note the solution response and detector reading on both. As you can see, on the one that is sufficiently tightened, the detector indicates the presence of gas even though the lack of soap bubbles indicates that there is no actual gas leak. Because of the sensitivity of the gas detector, a minute concentration of gas can easily be detected. Remember that an actual gas leak may not be present even though the detector responds. Residual gas concentrations from the appliance burners following a run cycle may be detectable. However, this is normal and safe. These residual gas concentrations will dissipate in the space around or near the appliance. This residual concentration, or trace, is sometimes noticeable to occupants who then become concerned about its source. When service technicians are faced with a suspected gas leak indicated by an electronic detector, the leak must be further verified by the use of a leak detection method or other acceptable means in accordance with the nationally recognized fuel gas codes. In review, control and appliance manufacturers are required to check products for leaks before they leave the factory. When using electronic detection equipment, make sure it is properly calibrated and used according to the manufacturer's instructions. 
Electronic gas detectors are extremely sensitive and can detect other hydrocarbon-based substances, which are found in common household products and in particular pipe joint compound. Electronic gas detectors are capable of detecting very small, non-hazardous amounts of hydrocarbons that may collect in various areas. Detection of hydrocarbons does not always indicate a leak. After a gas leak is detected using an electronic gas instrument, you must be able to verify that a leak exists using acceptable methods, such as a leak detection solution. Using electronic gas detectors with an appropriate leak detection method will provide the best service to your customer. The technology that makes your job easier only does so if you use it properly.